Stay tuned because I want to tell you a big fish story. It takes place in Logansport, Indiana, located in the north central part of the state where the Eel and Wabash rivers come together. Lots of people think about catching fish there. This story involves four generations of a single family, the Hildebrands, who created an innovative business in Logan Sport over 106 years, manufacturing high quality fishing tackle. It started back in the late 1890s when Big John Hildebrandt, who was a plumber by trade, began daydreaming about a better way to catch fish. He took a dime, gently bent it, and drilled a hole, creating a spinner. He attached it to one of his wife's hairpins, then added a feathered hook. Voila! A stroke of genius! Now he was catching more fish than anyone in Logansport. His buddies noticed and Big John began making similar lures for them. Pretty soon his new endeavor bypassed the plumbing business and in 1899 the Hildebrandt Fishing Tackle Company was born. John's son Hiram began to help his dad and in 1912 he took over, heading up the business for the next 42 years. Around 1925, the official Hildebrandt trademark was established using a character called Slim Eli. He appeared on every package of products and in their advertising, plus this fun slogan of Fool and Fish. Hildebrandt's innovative spinner designs assumed many shapes, twirling and flashing on stainless steel shafts, sometimes appearing as a stacked configuration coupled with shiny beads. Looking like minnows in the water, these baits became irresistible to stalking fish, excited by the flash and movement. Silver or nickel plate for a clear water environment and 24 karat gold or brass for cloudy conditions. But every fisherman of some experience has his or her own prescription for using these spinner baits, like trailing a tidbit of live bait on an added hook. Their stories attest to how a Hildebrandt did the trick in their favorite fishing hole. Saltwater as well as freshwater lures were invented. Under Hiram's leadership, a small factory with local employees was set up at 817 High Street to hand assemble and ship quality fishing tackle throughout the United States and to points abroad. This hand assembly of the product was key not only to ensure strict quality control, but it allowed for quick customization when needed. The product categories took on catchy names like the Go-Getter and the Wall Banger or the Okeechobee Special. In 1950, Hiram's son John joined the business and five years later, his younger brother Alan joined him at the company. Now they were working together, solving big fish challenges. One of those problems was that many fish species love to live around fallen trees, under piers, and in dense weed cover. In 1959, after extensive research, Hildebrandt released a revolutionary new lure design called the Snagless Sally. Sally's artful construction allowed fishermen to cast where the big ones were hiding without getting hooked up. The anglers quickly learned how to fish out the densest lily pad cover. 
throughout the 1960s and 70s as competition became fierce from cheaper overseas suppliers, Hildebrandt kept to their promise of product quality, utilizing the finest materials that resisted corrosion. John Hildebrandt retired in 1985, and a few years later, in 87, Allen brought his son Mark, the fourth generation Hildebrandt, into the business. Together they successfully continued the company's leadership role in the industry for the next 18 years. Almost every fisherman worth his salt had a few treasured Hildebrandt lures in their tackle box. But for quite some time, it had not been economically feasible to manufacture fishing lures in the United States because of cheap labor abroad. As Mark Hildebrandt stated, it is not a matter of what you want in the world, it's a matter of how things are. So with mounting economic pressures, Mark sold the business to the Yakima Bay Company of Washington State. Their trademarks, patents, inventory, and customer lists were transferred to Yakima. After 106 years as a family business, the Hildebrandt Company closed its Logansport offices and factory on March 3, 2006. But these amazing products live on. A search on Google will pull up a full line of the classic lures and spinners manufactured and now marketed by the Yakima Company under the Hildebrandt name. And best of all, they are still fooling fish. I want to make a sincere thank you to the Hildebrandt family for their hard work and vision. And for these beautiful products that will continue to contribute to a joy-filled world. Mm -hmm.